Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here, and today we are in Akron, Ohio. Here are my good friends, Mr. Ronnie Hartman and Mr. George LoBianco. Today we are on our way to Uncle Tito's. Not my uncle, unfortunately, but Uncle Tito's, a Mexican grill to try their five pound burrito challenge. So this burrito is about five pounds itself, plus cheese, but I guess it's like between five and six pounds, even without the cheese, so five to six pound burrito. Uh, you have one hour to complete the challenge. If you do, you get meal for free. Um, I'm not sure about a t-shirt or anything, but you definitely get the meal for free. If you do not eat it, you, the burrito is $60. On the burrito, uh, you get a mix of chicken, pork, chorizo. You also have guacamole, sour cream, pico de gallo, uh, french fries, and I think that's about it. And then the burrito is smothered in a cheesy queso sauce, so like a cheese sauce. Sounds really good. Um, I heard the food here is excellent. Really looking forward to it. Um, the challenge has only been beaten by one person in over 20 attempts, so definitely some difficulty with it, but let's go see what we can do. Should we have some fun? Uh, we're also meeting up with a gentleman named Mr. Mike, Mike the Beef. Um, he's a local Ohio eater, so it uh, should be a lot of fun, and uh, let's go get some eating. Hey everyone, so here we are with these massive burritos. So seriously, this is over five pounds, and everything is fresh coming right off the top. This is literally supposed to be the best Mexican food in Ohio. So I'm so, so excited to try these big burritos. So uh, we're gonna have one hour to do this. I am ready, gentlemen, everybody ready? Yep. All right, so I guess uh, we're gonna get started. Um, I don't know, I don't, is there a record? No, no, no record, let's kill it. No record, <laughs> right, so let's start the count, let's say five, four, three, two, Enjoy guys, one. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. And today we're at Uncle Tito's in Akron, Ohio. So for this challenge, we had to eat their over five pound burrito in one hour to get it for free. Um, so this challenge only been completed once before out of over 20 attempts. So definitely, definitely some difficulty to it. So me, George, Ronnie, and Mike set out to exactly do that. Eat these massive burritos. So first off, I'd give a huge thanks to the staff. They really are all about quality and authenticity. Seriously, like, nothing on these burritos besides, like, obviously the pico de gallo, the guac, which was literally made, like, right before we showed up. Like, we showed up right at open, and they were literally, like, just finishing making all these ingredients. Um, but all the meats and everything, they literally just cooked them up right fresh. Nothing was coming out of a um, warming tray or off the line. Everything was fresh, which is, like, super cool. Um, and really just, I mean, help the experience. These guys really wanted to not only showcase their best, like, they truly cared that their challenge tasted good, which is something which is not always that common. Um, it wasn't just they want publicity, it wasn't just they want a big item, they wanted an awesome, big, large item that tasted great and was an overall great experience whether you're going to win or lose. Of course, we were hoping to win, but worst case, it would have been about $50 for the burrito. So, at first I tried to eat it like a burrito, um, but with the all the little pitas, like it was made of multiple little pitas, it kind of was falling apart, the toppings were falling good anyway, so I decided to kind of break it apart, eat the middle uh, first, which basically all the other gentlemen were doing as well. It seemed to kind of be the best way to conquer this burrito with all the little wraps and uh, it kind of falling all over the place, the toppings that is. It is very good. Everything's made here, it's all fresh, very delicious. Although we didn't get to try any of the other items on the menu, they had a large variety of other, um, like, really what are supposed to be authentic um, items. So that's super cool. Again, we didn't get to actually try them, but everything smelled good. It looked really good. And uh, we definitely were watching every item go th by that kitchen or come out of that kitchen. Um, and people were very much enjoying it. This place was extremely busy. Like, it was like, I think they opened at 12. We were there right at 12. And within like five minutes, the restaurant was like mostly full. It was crazy. So people definitely come here for a reason. And that's to have a great meal. Um, and which we did. Um, and to this point, the burrito was very, very tasty. And I would love to go back one day and actually try some other items. Um, again, kind of these like more authentic um, items, which I'm just not often getting within Canada. But that, everybody, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. I hope you enjoy it. Um, let me know what you think about the challenge itself.
be like four minutes, 45 seconds, five minutes, somewhere. I'm not exactly sure on my time, um, but really delicious. Loved it. These guys are killing it. George's pretty much done all his filling. Ron's almost done. Mike as well is almost done. So tune in as these guys continue to kill it. Really enjoyed this challenge. So if I get a meal for free, do I get a t-shirt? Yeah. Yeah? Get a get meal for free, get a free t-shirt, and uh, I'll be back. Yeah, you just started. That's why you asked about who did the record, because you knew you were going to smash it. Yeah, you know, I was just thinking it's our record. <laughs> Thanks everybody who came by to watch, especially Mr. Jonas. Jonas, a great subscriber, yeah. great friend. Thanks for coming, my friend. What'd you think of the challenge? Awesome. Yeah, there's some good smelling food there. Yeah, good smelling for sure. So thanks, Jonas. I appreciate it. And uh, until next time. Good job, friend. all of you guys. Hey, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Aww.